Well, here I am. Hi. You're seeing me in the reflection of my cabinet. Um, this cabinet has been growing for the last probably um, 35 years <laughs> with um, a lot of inherited stuff. You're going to see um, me in the mirror there. Hi, you guys. And if you don't know who I am, I am Jamie from the Moonstone Mamas. And I had seen several people do um, a show of their collections of their rocks and minerals. And I thought, oh, I want to do one too. And Mr. Jim said, you got to do it. And then Lisa from Flippin' Crazy was like, you got to do it. And then my daughter was like, you got to do it. So I'm going to do it. So here I am. Okay, guys. So this is my cabinet. I'm going to step back a little bit. You see me. That's my cabinet. And that's my doggy. Okay. So I'll start, um, I'll start at the bottom first. I get down on my knees for you. These are my fossils mostly. As you can see, you're gonna see some ammonite um, and just different, my corals. Those are Japanese floaters. I have quartz all over because I use quartz in the corners of my home. And um, there's some driftwood from really great memories. <laughs> there's my little, Unicorn, he's a fun little guy, he's made of alabaster. This is um, a piece of a tree that has been, um, it's turned to fossil, turned to stone. And um, there's a orange calcite and a blue calcite, compliments of Mr. Jim. And this is my peace pipe. Puff, puff, pass, y'all. <laughs> this is a little Indian um, or native, um, like spice bowl. Okay, it's really tiny. I've never seen one so tiny. I really like it. So, and hi. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's that stuff, guys. Just a lot of that. <laughs> my fossils and my goodies that make me happy. Let me show you someone here. Say hi, Mimi. <laughs> okay, back to it. Next shelf. Okay, this is my honey calcite sphere oh my goodness do you see that blue calcite get out of town this guy has literal druzies all over him he's so beautiful um here i have some a little half celestite geode guy um a little heart um there's some um blue um yep you guys say it because i lost my train of thought here's some unikite oh y'all know what that is right you better know. It's Ocean Jasper. Love it. <laughs> There's dragon's blood, I call it. <laughs> All righty. All the goodies. There's my silver sheen obsidian. That is a blue opal on Matrix. Um, this I got from Lisa, flipping crazy. I guess her grandfather had, um, had mined these. Um, and this is fossil, fossilized fern. So I really love that. That's a, a great piece I've added in my collection. Thank you, Lisa and Lisa's grandpa. All righty, here's some, look at this guy. This guy is my, one of my newest. What's cool is you can see right through him. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. And he is the same as that one. Um, so I put them in front because that's the slab. There's the sphere. Here is, um, we got some lapis right there, a tower. It's my bumblebee Jasper. This is a dragonfly skimmer. Um, he's preserved and that is a, a hummingbird nest we found in a, a tree branch. Um, and you know, that's abalone. If I haven't named any of these, I'm so sorry, you guys. I mean, um, <laughs> There's a lot. This is my Labrador, right? This is a rough Labrador, right, y'all? Yeah, right? You guys saw him. All right, that's my aquamarine. That's my grandbaby's, uh, my first grandbaby's birthstone. Some pie, right? Ooh, y'all know what that is, right? Yeah. That is so beautiful. Here's some agates with some druzy. It's an orange calcite. That's a little um, Labradorite flower and you're not gonna get his full 
beauty. He has like a brown rainbow. It's really beautiful. I'm not gonna catch it right now. My carnelian. Oh my goodness. This is my um, Argonite. And I don't see am I forgetting to tell you guys any of these. Oh, this is my um, Rhodochrosite, my slab. And then I have a, let's go up to the next one. This is my, oh my gosh, you guys. This is the best right here. This is a, um, came from Mr. Jim. And look, I put it with my little cement dragon. He's protecting it. <laughs> okay, next shelf, guys. I am a fluorite addict. Love it. I don't know what it is. Do you see the blue fairy? She's stuck in there. She lives in there. So that's her. This is all fluorite. It's a fluorite slab from Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim. <laughs> this is Laramar. That's a Laramar stone rock, uncut, unpolished. And then these guys are cut and polished. So um, this is my smoky quartz. This is my malachite. And this is my rhodonite. Okay, love that. This is my cubicle fluorite that grows. It doesn't grow, it grew like this in the cubicles. I'll, I'm gonna pull this guy out so you can see that. Cause that's really just cool. Um, this whole collecting of stones, I was drawn to from a child. Um, I've always picked stones up off the ground, went for walks. But it started with my grandmother. Um, my grandmother gave me my first crystal and I'll show you that one. This was her incense burner. Um, that's mine. <laughs> this is um, a whale that a lady on Etsy made for me and a whale is, is my spirit animal. And that's for another time, another story. My blue lace. And um, this is a, um, <laughs> isn't that cute? It's a fluorite like bowl. And then little pieces of fluorite I've received, been gifted and such. And this is just another of some fossils with some stones, all different. Um, you know, here's a little piece of your, um, oh, excuse me, let me move that there. Um, that is your, um, yeah, Jamie, snowflake obsidian. And there's some Amazonite. That is a raw ruby. That's a raw garnet. Um, this is a really pretty quartz with uh, moss growing in it. And then aventurine and um, there's some more fluorite. That's just a really pretty glass carving, Asian. I think it's beautiful. Some more fluorite. There's lepidolite and some tiger's eye with it. Um, this is just blue calcine, but I thought it was so beautiful. And this is um, my little moonstone right there, little guy. And then this shell is full of all different moonstones. That was a, um, from Mr. Jim um, that came. And so I just love it. Okay, let's go to the next shelf, y'all. That's that one. Okay, here we go. This is my selenite. This is moldavite. And this is quartz. We have rose quartz. We have some slabs back there of agate. This is my smoky tower. Um, these are some uh, quartz points that have like, when you look through them, you can literally see like a garden growing. They're absolutely amazing. This is my terminated quartz. This is what started me collecting after I started picking up rocks and different things. This was my grandmother's. Um, this right here is a Tiffany stone, which is actually opal and fluorite mixed together. This guy is so amazing. You guys look at this. And so the man I got this from had been using it and cutting it and making, you know, jewelry. And I was like, hey man, how much for that? <laughs> how much for that what you got left? Because mama needed that. That's just, it's just beautiful. And you know, I'm, stones speak to us. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a firm believer of it, certain stones, they come through and it's like, you gotta have it. This is not a stone of course, but my husband got me that at Monterey um, at the, uh, yeah, the Monterey uh, Aquarium. Words are hard sometimes. Okay. My quartz, some more quartz. And this is my smoky. My daughter got this for me for my birthday. This is smoky quartz to quartz. I love this guy. These right here are my tiny, tiny little citrines. 
and they're sitting on a fluoride slab. This is a citrine point. Look at that guy, he's gorgeous. Um, this guy right here, um, there's all different names for him, but he is an amethyst. Um, some people are um, calling it that, uh, oh, I can't think of the name right now, but it's amethyst, y'all know what I mean. Another amethyst. This is, um, right there is my grapes for, grape formation, um, or whatever you want to call it with the little balls. So neat, love it. Um, and this is citrine. Back here is my citrine tower. Hi, you guys. And this is my little moon with the little Trusy in it. And then my little, some more uh, quartz. These guys uh, spark rainbows. They're so beautiful. Um, and then this, this guy right here came from a place in Arizona and you bought these these large um, balls that supposedly came out of the volcanoes and they would cut them in half for you and when they cut this one in half they actually offered to buy it back but uh, we said no because we had to have it it's my son's birthstone and as I told you guys my spirit animal is a whale um, there's another I got that from mr. Jim back there my amethyst formation and then um, this is um, a star rose quartz and a rose quartz tower, some slabs, and I showed you all that, and here I am. Hi, hi, hi! And that guy's a little pervert. Every time I open this cabinet, he's all, hey, show me your boobies. No, actually, he's so cute. He's supposed to be like um, a baby gargoyle. Um, a lady I know makes these, and he's just super cute, and I just love him, so I put him in there. He keeps guard. And these are his friends, this dude and that dude. <laughs> all right, so let me step back. I'll show you my cabinet in all its glory. If I miss just telling you guys any stones, just holler at your girl and I'll let you know what they are because I was wanting to make this, you know, an enjoyable video, but sometimes you get going and maybe I skipped over something. So if I did, um, like the sphere, like, I don't know if I told you that's Moss Agate, that's the plate and that's the sphere with the druzies. Um, so anyway, anything else you guys want to know about stones? Hey, and if I don't know it, we'll learn it together. But be blessed. Spread love like butter on toast. And remember to be kind because it's free and we can choose that. Love to everyone. Bye now.